Hi, welcome back to our high series videos. <coughs> and today, I uh, want to start talking about heat integration. And the first thing which we kind of want to heat integrate uh, is our distillation columns. And we want to thermally couple them so that we can save as much energy as possible. And uh, as a rule of thumb, usually most, uh, a very big portion, like 50% or more of the um, of the heating duty actually goes into the distillation columns and even the stripping tower. You can take a look at how much power this we use 20,000 or 21,000 kilowatts. And we look at this, uh, look at uh, these uh, columns, they are using about 5,000 kilowatts, and this one about 3,500 kilowatts. And we see that it's a very, very big duty. Okay, so question is how do we uh, start integrating these columns well for one thing for one thing uh, we can take a look at the condenser we can take a look at the condenser we we find that uh, this condenser the power coming out is about 4,005 4,500 kilowatts for this condenser coming out at about 3,005 well um, can we use it to heat up uh, some strips well, at, in this stage, actually, in this stage, the condenser temperature is, a, is kind of at about... Uh, let's take a look at the pressures uh, of the condenser parameters. Okay, it's, it's about 70 degrees C. Okay, so the pressure is at a flat line, so it doesn't... So we kind of need to get our reboiler pressure up a little bit. Let's put the reboiler pressure about 300 or 320. Yeah. yeah. At least there's some some kind of pressure drop. And how much how much uh, that pressure drop is, we'll have to do some proper sizing and hydraulic calculation in order to estimate. But at least now I just give it some kind of a pressure drop. Okay, some kind of pressure drop so that you know, we aren't too far off from what is uh, really happening. So let's take a look at the parameters again. Yeah. Let's increase this pressure to about 320. And that should be just about all right. Yep. So the pressure on top is about one atmosphere across this condenser, and the temperature is about 70. Oh, in fact, it's about 56. And the temperature here is also about 56. Now, uh, heat at 56 degrees isn't really useful. So at present, we cannot actually do much heat integration of the columns. So what, what can we do about this? Uh, well, let's, let's say for example, we know that uh, increasing the pressure of the distillation columns will actually increase the boiling point. And if we increase the boiling point, that means the condenser pressure, uh, the condenser pressures will, in, it will increase, we'll have to increase to increase the boiling point at the condenser. And therefore the condenser pressure uh, the condenser temperature will be a lot higher. So let me show you uh, what I mean. So this is one idea we can actually talk about. Uh, and yep. So we can see the acid gas model, a rough gauge for a methanol water system. The upper limit is about 30, 35 bar. So let's give you about 35 bar. Okay. So at about 35 bar, Okay, we, we try and distill our methanol at about 35 bar. So let's go up 3, 5, okay, 3, 4, 2, 0. And on top, it will be 3, 2, 0, 0. Okay, let's stop. Reset, run. Okay, let's put it active. Let's go run. Okay, so again, there's a heat spec error, and it's not the oscillating kind. So we, we should look at we should look at uh, some of the you know things that are happening going on. So let's take a look at the temperature estimates. On top, instead of seventy, we should be expecting around two forty. The bottom, we expect around two five six. That's a good uh, initial estimates. So you can see that before long, our our 
flow sheet actually converges okay so the ultra pure tower will also converge let's take a look at the purity now this is at 89 percent no doubt uh, and let's take a look at the tower inside and let's take a look at the temperatures now okay we want to get this to about 97 percent this uh impure meoh we get it's about 97 percent but look, this temperature is pretty high, about 170 degrees C. Now, at a one, 170 degrees C, you can do a lot more things with your stream. Basically, if you notice, um, okay, if you notice, uh, the, the duty here is coming out at about 170 degrees C, and the temperature of the reboiler here is about, let's say, The temperature of the reboiler here, it should be about 140. It's about 130, 140, 135. Okay, and that condenser, okay. Well, we have this problem again, where we have a negative uh, temperature. So we kind of need to vent some more gas. So let's do a partial. And vent gas too. So let's put about... Let's put about 10 kg mole per hour on top. So this should be able to run very quickly. So okay. Okay, look at the con condenser temperature. It's about 68 degrees. And the reboiler is about 135 degrees C. So 135 degrees C is the target temperature. Well, if we have heat coming in at about 170 degrees C, that will more than uh, suffice for this uh, target temperature. So what we can do, what we can do is basically thermal, thermally couple the columns. Okay, so I'll well, just ignore this problem first. Let me show you what I mean. Let's drag this tower down. This is thermal coupling of the distillation columns. So first thing first, I'm going to take out this reboiler energy and I'm going to connect this here okay so we're going to press the run button and it says that we have too many design specifications so I'm just going to ignore all these stop so not enough specifications so we'll just make these two specifications and I'll try and run this fella okay so the heat spec error is there again so let's do a reflux ratio specification instead okay you can't use the reflux ratio okay so let's use an estimate of well I'm assuming that since just now we were using less than 33,000 uh, kilowatts so uh, one of the ways we can basically expect the reflux ratio to increase so let's let's put it at 1 and we use that as an initial estimate so reset and let's run this thing okay so what's it look look like uh, this distillate rate is here 194 and this uh, vent rate is about this much now let's take a look okay so the methanol going on top is about 205 so let's put 200 instead so let's reset and run Okay, so it's converged. So the methanol going on top is about 200 kg mole per hour. So I'm looking at this 205 and I expect the top to uh, the ultra pure methanol to be 205 or less. So I'm assuming less. Okay, so well, the, the tower only converges at about 97%. So that's not the specification we want. We will have to increase the reflux ratio. So 
let us increase the reflux ratio maybe to 2 and we'll stop let's do a different specification instead instead of uh, specifying the re distillate rate let's actually specify the recovery rate so let's go for component recovery I'm going to do the ultra pure methanol we're going to look at the methanol and we try and recover as much of it as possible so let's reset and run see whether it works okay so we need more specifications let's look at this okay it seems we have to manually set the widths so let's just do this first stop run now it's converged okay well ne it's nearly pure methanol basically <laughs> yeah so we double the reflux and you yeah, see we have a uh, 222 point is a 96% methanol going in and we feed it to this tower using the reboiler duty uh, I mean using the condenser duty from this tower okay so this condenser duty is a 5210 kilowatts it's coming in about 170 uh, 167 degrees C and you're gonna feed it to the reboiler here and basically you have already thermally coupled your columns so you only need to feed high pressure steam into this uh, reboiler and high pressure steam is about 250 degrees C 250 or slightly higher and that's more that's more than sufficient for uh, you know heating this uh, distillation column up so in fact we don't need that high we can actually reduce it a bit lower we don't need the condenser pressure to be that high let's put that 30 bar Oh, 3100 we'll just put a 3100 let's take a look at the pressure yeah so what I'm doing is uh, basically yeah uh, we know that high pressure steam since we know high pressure steam is coming in about 254 well we we'll want the condenser temperature I mean reboiler temperature of this uh, high pressure methanol distillation column high pressure methanol distillation column we'll want it to be about uh, 234 so the delta T of about a temperature difference of about uh, 20 degrees C that's a very safe bet so the top at about 3000 kilopascals now that will give a con uh, condenser temperature of 164 that's still pretty safe and the reboiler here is about 104 it's not very high and the uh, wastewater stream is at 236 so we are aiming a uh, 230 234 let's reduce it more to 8 and this uh, 3020 reset and run okay okay let's put active we're gonna press run okay again the heat spec error is giving a problem so let's take a look at the, the monitor tab okay we need to give a better temperature estimate it looks like let's see whether temperature estimates are the problem so temperature on top 150 temperature at the bottom 230 I'm going to reset and run see whether it can converge better so yep it's converging very quickly you need to provide the correct initial estimates in order for it to converge if not it will give us, give us a lot of problems so let's take a look here okay so 
233, it's pretty close to what we want. And about 161 here. Okay, so let's reduce this further. Or rather, yeah, you see this, uh, there's a lot of pressure drop here. There's about 5 kilopascals per stitch. Now I suppose that, that's pretty reasonable. We can uh, adjust that later on. But uh, the, point is, the point of this is that, yes, you can, you can actually uh, integrate your distillation columns uh, thermally. And uh, this is just one of the simplest ways you can do it in, in ISIS. So that you get a very pure methanol stream of almost one, <laughs> basically. Uh, and then there'll be vent gas here. That will be very pure methanol. And that will give you about 200 kg mole per hour of methanol. And what's the mass flow like? About 6,408. So that's about 6 tons an hour. Well, that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see what these Alibaba guys are doing. 5,000 tons per year. So this is 6 tons, 6 tons, uh, 6 to 7 tons per hour. And let's say one year has 8160 hours times 6.4. Okay, so that's about that's about where that's about the supply the supplyability of this plant. So yeah, we, we do we do we are able to produce that kind of methanol at this uh, reasonable industrial capacity using this setup, and this uh, actually helps us to you know save some of the reboiler duty by doing some heat integration, and you can get superbly pure methanol just by doing this simple trick. And um, well, we. We can tweak it a bit to get it to 99.99%. You don't want to overdo it. Alright. So let's see how much. Uh, still at 1. So just now the duty was about 7,000. Now you can reduce it to about 5,000. And this is all your steam is going to come here. Alright, so let's, let's reduce the reflux ratio a little more, maybe 0 0.55. So you can see how much energy savings we can actually do with this thing. Yep. So stop this first. Let's take a look at this stream here. Uh, take a look at the molar flow. 210. 310. Let's reset this and run. Yeah, so it, it can still converge. And let's take a look. The purity? Oh, not as high. Yeah, but okay, you get the idea. It does work. It does work. All right. So okay, let's put it at two one ninety five. 